Currently, we have our UI table view displaying planet names. But let's expand on that and have our UI table view be able to display some more information. So now we have a class that has a method called all known planets inside of the astronomical data class, which returns in an array of dictionaries with planet information. And yes, we can embed dictionaries inside of an array. Notice that we're adding our dictionaries, right? So we're creating like Mercury dictionary. We're adding that object to our array or mutable array here, planet information. So this information looks nice, but I think a picture would also be really cool. So let's drag a picture or pictures in this case into our application. So I've gone ahead and put the, a folder of images or planet images on my desktop. You can download the zip and extract it and add it to your desktop as well. And I'm going to drag this into supporting files as well for now. We'll make groups for all this stuff later on. And I can press the finish button. So now I'm going to have a bunch of images inside of my project. So to group all of this information, we're going to create a class to encapsulate all of this data, meaning our data from astronomical data as well as our newly added images. This process is incredibly similar to making new MBF dogs. Let's begin by creating a class that inherits from NS objects. We're going to go File, New File, and we can choose iOS, Cocoa Touch, Objective C class, and press Next. And we're going to make sure this is a subclass of NS object. And I can go ahead and call this OW space object. And we can press next and press create. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this back up here so it's with my other files. And in our next video, we're going to learn about what properties uh, and methods this object is going to implement in order to properly update our table view.